fence line today. Got the wheeler loaded up, but I guess I'm out of uh, herbicide. So uh, we're gonna run down the road down here, about 10 miles down the road, and head down to Tractor Supply and uh, can get in it, see if we can't get another jug of herbicide and get this spraying taken care of today, which is no big deal. Guess let give the grass give it a little bit of time, let that dew burn off the grass this morning before we get started so it uh that uh the weeds uptake at a herbicide a whole lot better. Uh, folks made a tractor supply. Let's run in here and grab this stuff real quick. Just look for some generic uh, roundup. Paper plants not looking too not looking too hot. Believe this stuff work right here. It's got glass phosphate in it. Same stuff in Roundup, so we'll pick this up. It should last a while. Folks, I better swing in here and get some gas real quick. If I can find a place to get in. Chewy. 329 for ethanol free. A little expensive there, President Biden. Let's fill this booger up. Can't be full already. Maybe she is full already. She's full. Let's see if this thing can print me out a receipt so I can write it off on my taxes. Imagine that. Plain piece of paper. All right, let's get ahead to the homestead and get some work done.
Hey folks, back up on the homestead today. Gonna do a little spraying. Gonna spray some fence rolls today and get that knocked out for the year. So uh, let's get this wheeler unloaded and get started. <laughs> Folks, let me walk you around my sprayer real quick. This is a homemade job. So all the tank is just a 30 gallon, 30 gallon tank. I think I picked that up for $10. Hose, wand, tractor supply deal. Let's pump, tractor supply deal. And it came with the uh, cigarette lighter power hookup and all that stuff. I made this little wooden plate so the pump can be mounted to the tank. And it's just held on there by uh, some bolts and washers. 30 gallons. This thing cost me, I probably got no more than $125 in this thing and it works like a champ. So uh, here you go, homemade spray rig. All right, folks. Got spray rig all hooked up and all filled up with herbicide and uh, tank filled up with water and uh, so let's get to it and get these fence rails knocked out today. Folks, got all the fence lines sprayed. Now we're gonna run up to the pasture here and uh, might drive through the old pond. It's dry as a bone, we're gonna drive through it and then head up to the old concrete pad with old barn was, spray around that thing and uh, spray around a tractor shed and I might just have enough spray to run down, hook up the boom and uh, run down the driveway. So uh, let's get after that now. got sprayed around the concrete pad just want to show you that big old pile of pipe right there or metal tubing 
That's some hoop houses sitting right there. I got those given to me by another family farm up uh, north of where we live called Joe Mill Farms. Uh, they were moving out of state and uh, they didn't have time to take them down. So I just had to go up there and give a little blood, give a little bit of my blood and sweat. And uh, with a little, another help from somebody else, we tore three hoop houses down in about four hours, but uh, got them for free. So I should be pitting them up this fall. And hopefully next spring we'll have something growing in them. All right, folks. Got about maybe five, 12 gallons left in that tank there. Um, we're gonna we're gonna knock out this driveway in the high spots, get the grass out of it. But right there, you can see I got my carpenter's little clamps there, hand clamps. I got an old boom off an old yard tractor I'm using for uh, spraying my driveway with. Uh, Cheap. I was already, it was already made up. Got off of, like I said, old lawn tractor. So, uh, all I did, I got this wire here on my pump. That's high control. Which, uh, which valve does what? This valve goes. This valve right here goes to the boom. But the problem I run into is such a high PSI pump. I gotta hand crank this valve down. This gate. This little ball valve here. If not. When my herbicide comes out of these uh, sprayers here, it will vaporize. So uh, I always got to fiddle with it before I get started. But uh, let's get this driveway knocked out and we'll be done for the day. Well, folks, got some terrible news. Something came up missing my phone and i guarantee it well i know for a fact that thing is on vibrate so i can't have nobody to call it i'm pretty sure i lost it somewhere along the driveway when i was spraying i've been looking for the past 30 minutes for it and if i can't find it i might have to get my wife up here and I know she's going to give me all kinds of grief over this. Well, maybe not. She'll probably laugh a little bit. But I might have to come up here when it gets dark. And uh, see if we can't ring it and see if it lights up for us out here in the dark if I can't find it. But I'll, I'll keep looking. If I have to, I might be out here till dark until she gets home. Well, folks, I got lucky. I found it. Exactly the last place I left it. On the wheeler. Let me show you where I found it at, though. And i tell you what. My eyes must be getting bad because I looked here four times already. Lucky, Elo, we found it. So let me show you where I found this thing at. Right there it is. Fell behind a sleet and slid back here. And I've been out here sweating my rear end off, walking up and down trying to find this thing. Well, I throw a lot of stuff right there, folks. Happens to people every day. Every day. Happened to me. Well, folks, got all the spraying done, got the fence line done, got the driveway done. I usually do it about twice a year. I do it in, uh, early part of summer then the last part of summer up for fall but uh we almost had a bad deal lost my phone found it it was in the daggum wheeler where i left it well not exactly exactly the same place where i left it just slid back behind the seat and went in the engine compartment but thank goodness we found it so uh well after the spring i'm not a, let me tell you something i'm not a big fan of herbicides i think there's a better way to take care and stuff but uh fence lines Tell you what, folks, you go through all the work, pitting that fence up, out there in the heat, sweating your end off, spend all the money of building the fence. You know, just on the fence line, it ain't no big deal, I think, spray herbicide. And I try to maintain my driveway with it. Other than that, that's about it. Up here on the homestead, we do drink well water, so uh, I'm very cautious about where I spray at and how close in the vicinity of I am of my wells. We got three wells up here, so uh, I always try to make, I always ensure that I'm a safe distance away. If I'm spraying something, there's not going to be no runoff to go in our drinking water. 
So uh, with that, let's load this wheeler back up and head home and grab some lunch. Well, folks, I'm getting hot, getting hungry. It's lunchtime for me anyways, and thirsty. Uh, appreciate you hanging out with me today. It was a fun, it's always a fun time. You're up on the homestead doing something to make it better. Um, but uh, hit that like button and please subscribe if you enjoy the channel. And uh, we'll catch you next time. God bless you.